I just finished up a spirit session asking Gabby about Brian. Where is Brian? I'm editing that now and it'll be up shortly, but in the meantime, let's listen to the tattoo artist that did Gabby and Brian's tattoos. Let's check it out. Gabby and Brian were recommended by another client of mine. Um, they came in super excited about getting a couple new tattoos, a couple small finger pieces. They wanted matching vines. One wanted just an outline, the other one wanted solid. Uh, Gabby wanted just a single outline with a couple of other small pieces like a scorpion, a Pisces logo, and a ghost on the skateboard. Uh, Brian just wanted me to touch up a little mountain with a couple of X's on the side of his hand and then do the solid black leaf work with the vine. Um, they seemed happy. They seemed comfortable with each other. Yeah, they came in, they seemed happy. They were discussing their trip a little bit when uh, they were in with me. They discussed how he was doing artwork and uh, graphic design. She discussed how she liked the horror movies and they were into forensic files and stuff like that. Did uh, she say what type of movies she liked? Just mostly we just discussed horror movies. That's what most people tend to like. I have a lot of horror stuff around the movie and stuff. Did she mention any titles? Uh, nothing specific. And what kind of art did he say he was doing? He just said he did graphic design, a lot of his stuff was all digital, making stickers, business cards, stuff like that. So. Did he show you any of his, any of his work? No, not that many. I was only with them for probably about an hour and a half. Uh, they came in around 11 a.m. was when their appointment was. I think I took the pictures of their finished tattoo work around 12.35. So. And so they sat for you? And um, was she nervous about getting tattooed? No, she seemed pretty comfortable. Like she gotten plenty of work before. I couldn't see no visible work. She had long sleeves and pants on that day, so I didn't see anything. Um, but she seemed perfectly content getting a tattoo, not a problem. Not nervous, nothing. Did she um, say what the significance of what of the tattoo? I mean, like the vines were for them. Uh, the Pisces love, I think, was for her. I think that's what her zodiac was. Uh, the ghost on a skateboard was because her, she liked Halloween and she longboarded for uh, as a hobby. So I think that's why she got that. Uh, the scorpion, I can't remember the significance of it. Uh, the vines were just them showing them tell, themselves together. Yeah. Those images look pretty iconic. Where did you get a, an idea or where did, where did those come from? Uh, she actually drew the skateboard and the ghost and then she drew the scorpion as well to show me what they wanted, what she wanted to look like. The vine was just something they had seen on Pinterest or something like that. And she, and she just came up with that, that skateboard and the, and the ghost just off the top of her head? She didn't, uh, did yeah. she? She sketched it onto uh, his paperwork so I can kind of get a visual. Uh, and then she did the same thing with the scorpion so I can get a visual for that as well. Yeah. And so she wasn't afraid of getting tattooed. How long did it take for the tattoo? Uh, hers probably about 30, 45 minutes for me to draw them on and get them done. And what was he doing while she was getting tattooed? Just sitting there conversating with us. Oh yeah? What was their demeanor like? Um, fine. Like I said, we were discussing their trip and planning on saving up for the van and stuff like that. Uh, he didn't seem out of the ordinary. He wasn't like aggressive, he wasn't mean, he wasn't any any type of way, he was just a very laid back personality. So, nothing, that, nothing out of the ordinary at all. Yeah. Um, and so for 30 minutes, she got her, their tattoo, you took a photograph. Can you show me the photograph? And can you just kind of just tell me and kind of go through, like, what, what did you do first? And so I started off just working my way from right to left. Uh, I started off with the scorpion, got it drawn on her, got it done, and then I worked on the, uh, the vines and the leaf work. And then we jumped over to the other hand, I worked on the skateboard and the ghost, and then I drew in the little Pisces symbol real small for and that was really it. Didn't take much time at all. And um, and so what did he get? So then, so then she was done getting tattooed, and then what happens? Uh, after she got done, I went ahead and I tattooed his. I drew his on the way he wanted it to look. And where did his go? His was on the, I believe, the same finger as hers with the vine. Uh, he just did his in solid black. His didn't come down as far either. It came down a little bit just a hair past the knuckle instead of all the way down to the, towards the tip of the finger. And did they say why they were getting matching tattoos? Uh, just because they had been together for a couple of years and they were planning this big trip together. They were engaged, I believe, at the time, is what it was. Um, so then, how long did his tattoo take? Uh, his probably took me about 20 minutes. 
Did he did he have any issue with the needles at all or with the pain at all? No, he sat in the I'm light handed anyway, so I don't really get too many people that score me jump out of the way. Um So when you were done tattooing him, you cleaned him up and then how what was their interaction like when they left? Uh, they were happy that they just got their first tattoos. They seemed super excited. They said their goodbyes, and that was the last I ever heard from them. Did they take any photographs of the two of them with their tattoos together, uh, or any kind of? Not at the shop. I've seen on Instagram that she had posted a couple of um, pictures of her in his hands. I guess when they went out to dinner afterwards, or went out to lunch afterwards. Very cool. And um, what is your impression? With all the news and everything going on, what what is your feeling? You know, now having tattooed both of them, you know, what's your personal feeling having had that interaction with it's, them? It's a little mind blowing because uh, it hits close to home now. Typically, you see things like this all over Facebook and Instagram, and they're usually far, far away. This one hits a lot closer to home. These are people I've met, I've spoke to, uh, I did tattoos on, and that's a big deal uh, as a tattoo artist. Uh, we become a part of these people's lives. We put a piece of us into them as they go on and carry on because they forever look at those tattoos and think where they got them. So it was a little crazy. And then I look back on pieces that I've done and then seeing those, it was just, it's crazy to think that, that that's the way it all happened for them, unfortunately enough. Yes, do you have a message for Gabby's family? Yeah, uh, my condolences go out to you guys. I'm sorry for your loss. She's a very sweet girl, very bubbly personality. She seemed very, very nice. And unfortunately for her, what happened is just a poor relationship, obviously. Hopefully that uh, he gets caught and justice gets served. 